Hey everybody, it's me, Larasha, Goddess Queen, just me, 23, and we're getting ready to do another Zodiac sign. Reading for the overall collective and Scorpio is up, okay? Um, so this is going to be a reading for Scorpio and this is going to be for the end of the month. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share the end of the month of August. Um, so cuss babies, I include you in my readings because your son represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cuss baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you're regular uh, Scorpio when it comes to your sun position. So Libra slash Scorpio, October the 19th through October the 25th. Libra slash Scorpio, October the 19th through October the 25th. And then Scorpio slash Sagittarius, November the 18th through November the 24th. Scorpio slash Sagittarius, November the 18th through November the 24th. Um, North Node, I include you in my readings as well, because again, you're remembering exactly who your soul and your spirit is during this spiritual awakening and this matrix and illusion that we have been in, okay? So this is going to be something that's going to be different. I'm doing this for the end of the month of August, um, just to have a uh, time to do a lot of readings on What's the Channel Arasha. So make sure you do subscribe to What's the Channel Arasha. I'm doing a, a two-card two, two spread when it comes to these readings. So the energy that I'm getting for you right now, Scorpio, let's jump into the reading. I feel like you are really, okay, you're, you're paying attention right now. And the things that you're paying attention to right now, it has to do with like your career. It could definitely be your, your love life because you're getting ready to go into your season. And the more that a Scorpio gets older, the more that they feel they have to have that family sense of a life, right? And if they are with somebody that can give them that, they're gonna go ahead and make those commitments to jump. And then when they're not, Scorpios go back thinking about what was. And I feel like that's where you are right now. Um, the song that's on right now is There Goes My Baby by Usher, which could be a situation that has to do with, like I said, your masculine or your feminine, whoever you're involved with. When you see that person, regardless if it's on social media, face to face, when people speak about that person's name, um, you're like, there goes my baby. You know, that's my person. That's the person that I love. And I, you know, hold so much love and affection for and unconditional love for, right? That makes me brightening up when I just hear their name or I see their name or somebody, uh, I see their name or, you know, somebody says their name or there's conversations that's being mad or I'm in front of their face, okay? So I feel like you are having some type of activation during, for your heart chakra during the season of Leo. So it's causing you to be a little bit more on your emotional side. Um, I do feel like if you if you are watching, that's that sense of, like I told you, being cautious and making sure you're making the right decision because, again, you're looking long-term than, you know, thinking short-term or rational at this moment. Um, and that's the energy that I'm getting for you for the end of August. So let's get this one card for the Bullshit Decks of Scorpio end of the month of August reading for the overall collective Scorpio end of the month August reading for the overall collective Scorpio end of the month reading for August for the overall collective Scorpio end of the month reading for the overall collective of August Scorpio end of the month reading for the month of August So we just need one card to give clarity of your energy for the month of August. There it goes. There we gonna go get that. We're gonna get that one. Okay. It says, my insecurities had me in doubt. So I feel like that goes with what I was saying, Scorpios. I feel like, let's say if you are realizing that you made some mistakes based off of how you felt, right? You feeling like you were not worthy or you feeling like you didn't have enough or you feeling like, you know, what was meant to be 
given to you at that time or the mo that moment or what you really truly deserve is not really meant for you because you are insecure within yourself. There's some type of, you know, lack of doubt or self-worth within you. It caused you to miss out on a lot of opportunities when it could have been with your love or career, when it comes to just you experiencing new things and so on. I just feel like right now, this could be a part of the reason why you could be emotional right now. Um, if this is not you, this is definitely your masculine, your feminine. They're feeling like they're not worthy enough for you or you're feeling that and your ancestors are telling you to get out of that energy. During the, let's say, the month of Leo, you should be gaining your confidence back, gaining your self-esteem back. And I feel like you're having a bit of a, of a, a hard time doing that. Are your masculine, your feminines having a bit of a hard time doing that? But I feel like you're going to get out of this, Scorpio. You're going to get out of this because I feel like that's when that's this is going to go, just go like this. And then you're going to understand, like I said, now it's time for you to make a decision. And that could be an acting on, you know, something, taking action on it or just staying stuck. And I, I don't want you to stay stuck because you feeling like you are not meant to have like i said the things that you're meant to have and the things that you truly deserve okay um and i'm gonna go ahead and end this make sure you like subscribe comment as well as share and you have a great day